Hi, so this is my first ever Quirky kit. It's the May June kit. And I actually have a bit of an embarrassing story to tell. So I uh I thought there was going to be like an email when the kit was set, like actually put in a post and I didn't get one um for about a week after the uh, extras kit was closed so I actually, e well a bit over a week so I actually emailed Leonora asking her if maybe there was something wrong and then about an hour later my kit arrived and I was so embarrassed but I was also incredibly excited and I've actually already opened the kit because I was too excited to wait but I've put everything back more or less how it was and I thought I'd show you because when I was looking into the kits I found it quite difficult to find um, videos of openings so you first get this sheet with um, sketches on and yes I'm going to look at this later but I'm, it looks like there's some really nice ideas in there okay and, and everything comes in this really cute bag which I didn't realise and it's so cute and I'm so happy it's probably a good thing I didn't I didn't video myself actually opening it because I got very excited and maybe I screamed a little bit. But yeah, so um so inside the bag is another bag. I'm going to take I'll put this bag here as a nice backdrop instead of whatever was there before. There we go. And so I'll show you embellishments first. So you can have this lovely ice cream paper as a backdrop. Oh and they've put that um colours for the kit here and I have a feeling it might be something to do with these ice creams as these colours match so well but all the papers match really well so inside the kit we have some embellishments of course and first up I have this little stitched embellishment and I was thinking about putting this on clothes but I don't want to risk it breaking because it is too adorable so I'm just going to have to go out and get some amazing ice cream so I can make a layout with this and so where should I put things that I don't I'll just ooh, ooh, I should have thought this out just sort of gently put it here and next thing I got were these wood veneers and they are six uh, labels. I would open it but I don't want to because I like things in packaging. But there are these two shapes and three of each I think. And then there are these really cute die cuts which you can use as titles and I think they're adorable. So, I just, so this says favourite photo and then this one says hashtag cute and this one says selfie and I really like these words I feel like I have a lot I could <laughs> do with these words sadly okay um, I'm going to put these back in a little pouch because they look kind of delicate and I don't want them to rip because they're too darn cute so darn cute <laughs> I should make a note about my quirky kit with those die cuts as a title hashtag cute Work you get. And then there are these uh, cut apart labels from our studio and these um, South Adhesive Bling it's called and I think it's kind of like shiny enamel dots in this really cute red colour and I actually haven't got any enamel dots so this is very exciting for <laughs> me and then there are these Bella Boulevard uh, letter, uh, not letter, tiny word stickers type things and a little sweetness thing, which I guess you could use just as a title, sweetness. Or if you're making a, a layout about Loch Ness, maybe? I don't know. Okay, I'm a bit, still a bit excited. And then there are some more L-Studio culture parts, but these ones are more, like, the other ones are just blank labels, and these ones have words in. Pizza night, excuse for pizza, thank you very much. And then there are these really cute puffy phrase stickers. I love these. So the gold one, it's actually quite funny. I think the gold one looks more matte than the black one, which I don't know, that, is that normal? But yeah, 17 of them. And then we have some alpha stickers and they are black and white striped alpha stickers by CN Crafts. 
Oh, Chicken Nitty, that's what a CN is. Okay, now we're on to paper. Um, I'll show you the cardstock that comes with the kit first. So there were... I had this problem last time. There were four sheets of cardstock with the kit. kit. This very bright yellow, and I'm not, I haven't decided where I'm going to use it as kind of mats, just to add a bit of a pop, or challenge myself to make a whole layer out of it. But I'll decide. I'll choose. If anyone recognises that quote, well, I'm not sure if it's actually a quote, but it was inspired by Educator Ruta. Then there's this white texture card so and you, the camera's probably not picking it up. It's actually a bit pearlescent. Can you see that? I don't know if you can see that, but it is pearlescent, which is really cool. And then there are just two blank white sheets. And then next... Oh, I'll show you the, the really awesome paper first. Okay, it's not paper because it is vellum. Yes, it is vellum and I think it's amazing because it's got little clouds on it and it's from Chamel. Yeah, I think it's from her newest one because I feel like I recognise these prints and I think this is... I don't know which way up is it. I don't think it matters. Does it matter with Valon which way up it goes? I guess I'll find out soon. And I haven't decided whether I'm going to try cutting out the clouds and using them as embellishments. Or just... Because I don't want to use it as a layering piece because I feel like I would be hiding it. That's one of my main problems with scrapbooking right now. I love layering, but I don't want to hide any paper. <sighs> okay. Oh. Fell onto my chair. Next we have the normal papers, which are also stunning, and I'm just going to move this plastic thing. Okay, and there's this ice cream one, and I really like both sides. Look at that. My, uh, my mum thinks this is marbling, I think the, this is waves. Pretty certain it's waves actually, so yeah, I'm right. That's the Crepe Paper Pool Side collection. Then this one is Webster's Pages, um, the, these are the day, days, you know the one, the one where they've got stuff for each month, and I love this colour. <laughs> probably out of all of the months, this, I haven't looked at them all, but this would probably be my favourite, so lucky me, and I'll probably be cutting this up. Then we have this one, which is... Another These Are The Days one by Webster Pages. It's got this cool triangle side. And this grid is really cute, but I'll probably use this side because... I think I think most people out there will get me. And then this one. Oh, this one's really cool. It's like textured. I didn't know you got textured pattern paper. What a noob am I. Yeah. And it's textured on both sides. And look at that gorgeous pink. I don't think the camera's quite picking it up. It's not like a solid pink. It's kind of dabby. It's it's a dabby pink. And then this cute polka dot. Oh, and that was um, Fancy Pants Office Suite thing. Um, and this is Webster's Pages. Oh, Webster's Pages. Happy. And so there's this confetti type side. And then there's this not confetti type side that has like little geometric shapes on it. And I think I prefer this side because I don't know, I don't like this side that much. I'll probably use both sides though as well. And this is the last paper and it is Amy Tan Rise and Shine and it is craft. And so there's this side. And then there's this side, and I think these polka dots are quite adorable. But, yeah, I'm not really sure. If anyone has any ideas of how to use this side, if I can't think of anything, I'll just use the other side because it's adorable, but I don't know. I just feel like there's something special to do with this side, but I don't know what it is. It's bugging me. You're probably meant to cut it out and use it as embellishments, right? I think I might do that actually because that camera is really cute and I would not mind having that banner anywhere on my page. 
So yeah, that was everything in the kit. So it has like a lot of stuff and just looking at it online doesn't tell you how much stuff there is I feel and <laughs> you should have heard me when I first got it. I was so excited. It's probably a good thing you didn't. I think I already said that. So yeah, um, if I manage to kill the kit before the next kit comes, which I'm not sure because I don't always have a lot of time to scrapbook, I will do a killer kit video. Otherwise, thanks for watching. Bye!